Hi, I'm Dan from realgun.com, coming to you live here from the 2016 War and Peace Show. Uh, a quick video here to uh, explain the new European Union deactivation regulations uh, that uh, the powers that be uh, have just come out with in force from April of this year. Um, now we have a good selection here with us of the new European Union deactivated guns. Quick ones to explain. Um, pistols uh, will still cock and dry fire, uh, so they are virtually unaffected. Uh, same with shotguns, they will all cock and dry fire fine. Um, bolt action rifles, um, prior to uh, some of the stuff said on forums and the like, they will still cock and dry fire and the mag will eject, uh, which is good. Um, also, something uh, like a, a submachine gun, like this uh, very nice Israeli Galil. Um, things to know on these, these are actually slightly better uh, than they were under the old spec. Um, triggers still move, uh, fire selects move, other associated parts all move, and uh, the mags also eject as well, which is great. Uh, so these uh, have come out pretty well. The big loser uh, in the new uh, deactivation regs uh, were bigger machine guns, uh, light machine guns. Uh, so uh, like this uh, Russian World War II DP-28, uh, brain guns, MG-53s, they've been classed the same as um, submachine guns and assault rifles. Uh, so now uh, the bolt has to be welded in place. Trigger still moves, safeties work, mags eject, but the bolt's now welded in place on these. Okay, great stuff. So, as ever, uh, speak to you soon. Thanks a lot.